Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 6.2. We're going to talk about types of reactions, which is also going to be predicting products. And identifying the types of reactions. So types of reaction are combination, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion. Now combination is often called synthesis, and double replacement is sometimes called the oh-so-crazy metathesis. So I want to make sure that you're good with those. And let's go ahead and boogie. Synthesis is combination reaction. Two elements combine. Now, it doesn't have to be elements, but for our class, it's going to be elements. So A plus B yields AB. Now, the trick to this is you still need to crisscross your products. Okay. So whatever this charge is goes in the other spot. So Na plus Cl2 makes NaCl. Now, why is it NaCl? Na is plus 1. Cl is minus 1. Remember that from the periodic table. Hopefully, your periodic table is handy. And that's where that comes from. So whenever you make a product, you've got to crisscross it. So H2 plus O2. Um, the reason this is like this is H is plus 1, O is minus 2, so it takes two H's, whoops, two H's to balance the O's. There you go. Decomposition. Zombies fall apart. So I remember decomposition because as I am running away from a zombie, zombie apocalypse, no! I guess I apparently need to work on my posture. When a zombie chases after me, brains... What happens to a zombie is, in the movies, they always end up dropping some kind of body part behind them. So they're falling apart. So a compound falls into smaller pieces. And for us, this compound will always turn into elements and not anything else. So if I have NH3, NH3 is going to turn into N and H. Now why are these twos here? <gasps> oh man, don't forget your diatomics. And your diatomics are Noth, Colbury. H. By the way, this is 6.2, which should be watched after 6.1, but well, you know, hopefully you figured that out already. CO2 yields carbon plus oxygen. Why isn't this diatomic? Not to the not for Cobre H, which those guys are always two together. That's it. Samples. Nitrogen dioxide decomposes. Oh, I hear prefixes, so I don't need to crisscross. Nitrogen dioxide is NO2. Decomposes, that word just means yields. And I get N plus O. Oh, diatomics. I almost forgot. And then what I didn't talk about is we should be balancing these guys as we go along. So I need two nitrogens. So two nitrogens on the right. I need two on the left. That gives me four oxygens over here. This would give me four oxygen. Calcium reacts with oxygen. Calcium, Ca, plus oxygen, O. Calcium is not diatomic. Oxygen is diatomic. And that yields CaO. Calcium is plus 2. Oxygen is minus 2. So those charges balance. So G, 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 CaO. To balance this guy with these guys, I have two oxygens on the left. I need two on the right. That gives me two calciums. Two calciums. Okay. H2S. Um, hydrogen sulfide decomposes. So H2S is going to turn to H plus S. Now, is hydrogen diatomic? Yes. Is sulfur? No. So I'm done, and that one's balanced, too. Zinc plus O2. So here are two elements. They just smush together. Z and O. Zinc is plus 2. O is minus 2. <laughs> they balance. So oh, to balance it, two oxygens on the left need two on the right. Ba-bamba, ba-bamba. I'm all done. Notice how we have decomposition, synthesis, Decomposition, synthesis. Now, that's every other one to ruin your creativity, but that's it. Single replacement. My date left me for somebody better looking. Oh, I think I understand that now. So I have an element plus a compound yields new element. I'm sorry, new compound plus element. You must use the activity series, which you were given in class. This is the activity series, okay? So most active substance gets the girl. So or the date, or whatever it is. So, for example, Brad Pitt and uh, Jennifer Aniston used to be a couple. But then what happened? Well, Angelina Jolie came along. Well, Angelina Jolie is more active than Jennifer Aniston. So Jennifer Aniston got dumped, and there's Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt and their 8,000 children from 35 different continents. Okay, maybe just four continents, but you get the idea. And what someone told me before, which I found very 
creepy, is the most attractive man in the world is Lil Wayne. So that means that Lil Wayne is going to get anybody that he wants. And the reason why I put Lil Wayne on here is, look at this, this says Lil Wayne. So Lil Wayne is on top, so Lil Wayne can replace anybody else. Okay. Now the same thing is true for nonmetals, right? So fluorine can replace chlorine, bromine, iodine, estine. So whoever's on top has a date, right? So it gets to be in a compound, right? So there we go. NaCl. So I'm going to look for K and one of these two. K I know is a metal, so it's got to replace a metal. So here's K, and K can replace Na. So that means I get KCl plus nah, and it's balanced, which is nice. AlBr3 plus Sn. So Sn is a metal, so I'm going to try and replace the metal with it. So Sn is here. Aluminum is here. So tin is lower, so this equals no reaction. LII and Br2. Bromine is a nonmetal, so it has to replace iodine if it can. So bromine, can bromine replace iodine? Yep, it's higher up, so I get liber plus I. You know, iodine's diatomic, so I throw a 2 here. And I've got some balancing issues, right? To get two iodines on both sides, there's two on the right, I put a 2 here, which gives me two lithiums and two iodines. But I need two lithiums, which gives me that. And look, that fixes my bromines. NaF plus Cl2. So chlorine is a nonmetal, so it's going to try and replace fluorine. Chlorine replacing fluorine, nope, that's like Jennifer Aniston trying to get Brad Pitt back. That gives you no reaction. Okay. So, double replacement. Changing partners, but everybody still has a partner. Once in front, always in front. Okay. So notice if I've got AB plus CD, notice how A is in front. On the left-hand side, A will be in front on the right-hand side, because we always put metals front. C is a metal, it's in front. C is a metal, it's in front. Okay. The reactants are always going to be aqueous, dissolved in water, and need the one of the following to form. One of these to be a reaction. So you need a precipitate, which is a solid. We're going to use our solubility rules. Yay! Water, or a weak acid, or base. Sorry, my slides are a little messed up here. So let's take a peeky. A weak acid, it's an acid that stays together in water. Hmm, you don't really need to know that. Strong acids break up 100%. Hmm, you don't really need to know that. But you do need to know what your strong acids are. Your strong acids are HCl, hydrochloric, HBr, hydrobromic, HI, hydroiodic, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, and perchloric acid. So which are weak? All other acids. And how do I know if it's an acid? Hello, I'm an acid. So H, anything else? So is HNO2 a weak acid? Hmm, yes. I should say weak, I suppose. Is HF a weak acid? Yes, because it's not any of these. Is H your mama an acid? Your mama, weak acid. H, your mama, a weak acid. Yes, it is. Samples. So sodium chloride reacts with lead for nitrate. Now you need to get out your solubility rules. So sodium chloride, remember these are aqueous to start with. Sodium chloride, plus one, minus one, that's good. Reacts with lead for nitrate. Pb and O3. Pb is plus four. Nitrate is NO3 negative. So that would mean PbNO3 taken four times. The partners I'm going to get are PbCl2, I'm sorry, PbCl4, lead is plus four, chloride is minus one, plus NaNO3. So I'm going to look at this guy first. I look at my solubility rules, which you have. Solubility rules state that most uh, chlorides are soluble. Exceptions are lead. Oh, that means this is a precipitate. And you only get one precipitate at a time. And this is aqueous because all group 1s are soluble. And all nitrates are soluble. Copper 2 sulfate. And again, these guys always start out as aqueous. Copper 2 sulfate. C-U-S-O-4. Again, it's double replacement, so aqueous. Reacts with barium fluoride. Plus BAF2. Now the reason why this is 2. Barium is plus 2. Fluoride is minus 1. BAF2. 
So what I get, again, this guy's aqueous. What I get is CuF plus BaSO4. So if we look at this first one, um, I have solubility rules for fluorides, iodides, and chlorides. And most fluorides, iodides, and chlorides are soluble. Exceptions are silver, lead, and mercury. Well, copper is not an exception. So most of them are soluble. Soluble means aqueous. And I've got barium sulfate. Most sulfates are soluble. Exceptions are barium and some other ones that I can't remember. So that's your precipitate. Potassium iodide reacts with aluminum nitrate. Potassium iodide, Ki, aqueous, whoops, plus aluminum nitrate, Al and O3, taken thrice, yields Al I, oh, I don't need parentheses, pardon me, Al I3, plus KNO3. Okay, so iodine has solubility rules, just like chlorine. So most fluorides, iodides, and chlorides um, are soluble. Exceptions are silver, lead, and mercury. Well, guess what? That's not this one, so it's aqueous. And group one is always soluble, so I'm done with that one. Aqueous, so this one is a no reaction. Oh, how sad. What happened? Nothing happened. Combustion. Burning. Burning needs oxygen and a hydrocarbon for us. Now, it doesn't need to be hydrocarbon. It can be anything else. So if you react something with oxygen and it says burning, products are always the most common oxide of whatever we burn. Okay, Most common oxides. So we're going to learn a little chemistry and get a little bit more comfortable with what the most common oxides of things are. So methane burns. Okay, So methane burns, so I have CH4. If it burns, that means I have plus O2. The most common oxide of carbon is carbon dioxide. I've heard of that before. Most common oxide of hydrogen is water. I've heard of that before. Okay. Sugar burns. Hey, that's exactly what digestion is. <coughs> C6, H12, O6. Now, if it's burning, again, it needs O2. It makes the most common oxide of carbon, CO2. The most common oxide of hydrogen, H2O. And then there you don't you're not going to have the most common oxide of oxygen. That would be oxygen, but that would cancel out to go through. Okay. Sorry, I'm not balancing all these, but you get the idea. Magnesium burns. Now to burn it, you need oxygen. Most common oxide of magnesium, dude. I don't know that one. Well, let's take a look at it. Magnesium is plus two. O is minus two, and you get MgO. That's the most common oxide of magnesium, and we're good. To review combination. Little, little, big. Decomposition. Big, little, little. Single replacement. Can I trade places with one and kick the other one out? Double replacement. Change your partner round and round. Okay. Combustion. C, H, maybe, O. Most common oxide, most common oxide, and we're all done. Toodles. I said toodles. I said t-t-toodles.